Hello and welcome to a Cry Engine 5 tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at train generation, we're going to be generating some basic train and looking at some of the scope tools. So, to do this we want to go to the top left, hit file and hit new. In the name tab we want to put in a name, it doesn't matter, I'm going to call mine islands. In the folder, leave it as levels, height map revolution, resolution even. If you set this at 128 by 128 your map's going to be very small. If you set this at 1024 by 1024, your map's going to be um, medium sized. And it doesn't directly have to do with the height map resolution, but your height map resolution is the same as your terrain size. So if we set it to 4096, it's going to be massive. We're going to work with a rather small 128 by 128. Texture dimensions are fine, terrain color multiplier is fine, and hit OK. Now this is not going to generate a terrain, this is just going to create our level with some basic parameters. Okay, so as you can see, um, our maps, oh god, what have I done? Um, our map's rather small, as of now, this is exactly what I want though, if you want to create a survival island or something. To generate terrain, we want to go to our terrain editor. To get here, we click tools, terrain editor. I like to dock it to the side by dragging it. And releasing. We want to hit file and generate terrain. The feature size is how big you want it. If I set it to 10 it's going to be pretty big. 3.6 is what I like to do. Obviously 1.1 is going to be tiny. Leave everything else as is and hit OK. Now you're actually not going to see it as it will generate inside of you so just hit S and drag out. Now, as you can tell this is far too big. To fix this, to fix the big spiking, we go to Edit, Set Train Max Height. I'm going to uh, select 64. As you can see, this just looks like a big chunk of land, so just generate the terrain again. As you can see, this is much more manageable, and if we just keep generating terrain, we can get some pretty cool structures. Now, we're going to look at some of these. So I'm going to um, generate a terrain, a big one. And then set train max height to 1024. Generate the train. Then I'm going to set the max height down again. I'm just doing this to get a flat surface quickly. Okay, let's start with the flatten tool. Um, this will flatten your train to a particular height. The height I've set is 29.45, so it's going to go down to 29.45. You just want a left click and hold down. Now, as you can see, this makes a ravine type uh, train. If I were to select, say, this height by hitting pick at the height and hitting an area, it's just going to flatten to that particular height. This is also a good way to smoothen out your terrain and make sure everything is level. To our next one, raise and lower, self-explanatory. If you hold right click, it will lower your terrain. And if you hit control and right click, it will bring it back up to your max height. Make holes. Um, we're not going to cover this too much as it's basically... Not very useful in my opinion, unless you're making a cave or something, it makes holes in your terrain. Self-explanatory. Smoothen. This is very useful. Um, as you can see, these are jagged edges, and you wouldn't see that in a terrain. So if we just smooth it out, it gets rid of them harsh edges. Very handy tool indeed. Now move. I don't actually know what move does. I've never actually had to use it. Fill holes. What this does is when you make a hole, you can fill it again. Okay guys, that's all I'm going to be showing you about terrain today. In the next episode I'm going to be showing you the basics of layers and how to paint terrain. Thank you for watching.